Hi, this is Freya with another How to Sing That Song episode. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Well, today I'm going to do another song by Alicia Keys. I love Alicia Keys, especially some of her earlier songs. It has a soul element, but it's not crazy soul. It's very singable by the average singer um, or people like me. Like I'm not really a soul singer, but uh, I just love the spirit in the songs and the vocal flexibility that you can train in them. So let's get started. It has this nice intro. Get in the spirit already. You could do some improvisation here. Some people live for the fortune. Some people live just for the fame. So, as you notice, phrasing here is very important. Now, the thing that is very characteristic for soul is that you have these waves of crescendo and decrescendo getting louder and softer again. It doesn't stay on one level and it never changes suddenly. It changes rather quickly, but in waves, a very, very flowing motion. Some people there for the fortune. Some people live just for the fame. You see, as I'm leaning into the pitch, I kind of get a little louder. And then when it resolves, I take it back again. So that's very characteristic for soul. Some people live for the fortune. I'm just going to exaggerate a little bit now just so you can hear it. Some people live just for the fame Some people live for the power, yeah And then it goes very low, so barely touch that pitch Some people live just to play the game And always breathe very, very relaxed Open Relaxed breath. Some people think that the physical things. You see, I'm I'm not on the pitch. I'm drawing it up. I'm just kind of scooping up here. It would be different. Some people think that the physical things doesn't sound like soul anymore at all. Define what's within. I've been there before. That life's a bore. See how I'm scooping up? That life's a bore. So full of the superficial. Very... Mm, very bendable it's very moldable it's 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 not rigid it's very much moving it's like oh yeah i'm easing into this pitch and i'm sliding there a little bit i'm just scooping and slurring a little bit all the time though keeping in mind that it still is clear and clean you're scooping up to a particular pitch to a certain pitch and you want to arrive at that pitch so people know your audience will know what you actually mean if you go some people think mm, i'm not actually arriving some people think and the fears i'm always coming to the right pitch very good intonation at the end things define see the pitches here so that's a very important principle you can scoop and slur and do all this bending of the pitch but you have to be still clean and very clear about where it actually is that you're arriving so and then comes the chorus and the secret to do this chorus to where it doesn't wear you out it's kind of high First of all, breathe. And then the second thing is really don't make it out. Don't draw it out too long. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. 
see I'm scooping a little bit and sliding up there and then I'm off. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I got you, baby. I'm just making a short accompaniment now just so you can hear what I'm doing. Uh, uh, uh. Sliding up again, but very, very unambiguous. Arrive at that pitch and then be done with it. Get on that pitch, be done with it, get off again. Some people want diamond rings. Some just want everything. But everything means nothing if I game got you. Yeah. And here at the end, you may go into falsetto. You. Sounds kind of cool, I think because it's the connection piece to the next verse again so it's nice when you have this connection by not you some people search because it needs to kind of ebb down again and just kind of get a little bit more relaxed again before the next verse starts so very important good support good breathing and that phrasing very very important here and like i always say do it in your own awesomeness but This type of repertoire usually needs to be very chesty and very strong. So you want to practice a very strong tone. So don't don't be narrow. Be very open and make sure you imagine singing into this last row in this huge auditorium, and then you know project. And so you have a lot of ping in your tone. You don't want to sound narrow. Some people want it all, but I don't. So don't get narrow. Try to really, I don't want nothing at all. So if you can't quite hit that short one up there um, with chest voice, it's totally cool to do that one just kind of head voicey because it's so short you can hardly notice what anybody's doing. Some people want it all, but I don't, don't. You can't do that not in chest voice. It's totally cool. So these are the principles. I'm not going to go over the rest because it's kind of basically repeats. And of course, you can do some improvisation here, which would be cool. There's a few different versions of this song out there. But anyway, there's room for improvisation. So whatever you want to do, it's totally cool. But just make sure you experiment and don't just play it safely because playing it safe is boring. Make sure you take some risks here while you're practicing. Um, and I'm doing it in the original key of G major. So what you may do, get a karaoke track off YouTube here. There's tons of them out there. And go ahead and practice away with that. So thank you so much for listening and watching today. Don't forget to tune back in on Thursday for another Q&A video. And of course, Friday for a singing tip video. More on the technical side. Also, check out my podcast if you have not already. It's awesome. Get some input on the go. Tips and exercises about singing. So whenever you're driving, running, walking the dog, doing the dishes, vacuuming, just put those plugs in your ear and turn on that podcast player and uh, you can find me under Freya Casey or Freya's Singing Tips, the podcast. And um, I come out with a new episode every week once. So um, check that out. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Bye.